Today, it's all about going one-to-one -one with your NAT configuration. It can feel like a boxing match at times. In this Cisco Tech Talk, we'll discuss how to configure a one-to-one -one static NAT in a Cisco RV340 series router, next. First, we'll need to log into the router. For this example, we're using an RV340 router, RV345P model. Click on Status and Statistics. We can see that our version is 1.0.03.21. To configure the one-to-one -one static NAT, we'll need to make sure we have the available public IP on the WAN interface. Our WAN 1 interface is configured with a public IP, and it has the slash 29 IP pool. One IP is configured and other IPs are available. We need to make sure we have those public IP addresses available for use from our ISP. So we will just pick up this one, for example. We're going to map one of our LAN devices with one available public IP on the WAN 1 interface. Let's map this desktop 192.168.200.107 with the public IP that is available. To make the configuration, we'll navigate to the firewall menu and select Static NAT. To add a role, click Add. Enter the IP address of that system we're going to map. Then specify the public IP address. We'll keep the range as one, as that's how many devices we're mapping on. One private IP to one public IP. See, one to one. Under Services, we have the option to filter in specific traffic. For this example, we'll select All Traffic. Now that the public IP is configured on the WAN 1 interface of this router, select WAN 1. Click Apply. To save it on the startup configuration, click on this red blinking floppy sign up top. Let's try to ping the public IP we have just mapped. We're getting a reply thanks to our configuration. Navigate to our basic firewall settings. We see the basic firewall is enabled. We also see that our block WAN request is disabled. If we enable that, we will not be able to reach that WAN IP. For troubleshooting, you can disable the block WAN request and verify the reachability. We'll attempt to access that desktop using the public IP we've configured. Enter the login credentials and click OK. It will show one certificate error notification on the screen. We'll click Yes on that, and we can see that we are able to gain the access to that system. We can verify the LAN IP address of that system. Open the command prompt and type the command ipconfig. Then press the Enter button. We can see the IPv4 address configured on the LAN adapter. 192.168.200.107 is mapped with that public IP. What a knockout! That's how we can configure the static NAT one-to-one -one NAT in Cisco Business RV340 series router. Thanks for watching this Cisco Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.